If your doctrine doesn't allow for the Holy Ghost and His capacity to be ever expansive, then you don't know Him. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. Jesus if this is your first right. time here, make sure you subscribe. And if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. A lot of people have never heard that before. But you've heard it. Say, I've heard it. I've heard it. Where'd you hear it? Yeah, right here. <laughs> I'm giving you fresh understanding of who God is, but also who you are and who God is. It matters. Both matter. Say both matter. Both matter. It matters who you are and it matters who God is and it, and it matters that you have fresh, fresh understanding of who you are and your position with God. Well, I'm providing you here with this fresh perspective mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him get that straight a lot of people have all other kinds of ideas mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost is God he's the one Jesus sent to be with you so your position would be be with him mm -hmm. right yes. any other position is just wrong mm -hmm. drives me nuts when preachers and others think they know everything mm -hmm. when the fact is they have no idea what you're talking about when I talk about the Holy Ghost being God and worshiping him and entering into a room of worshiping the Holy Ghost and someone thinks they know what I'm talking about and they don't do it mm -hmm. they can't possibly know what I'm talking about the people that think they know everything you ever met these people I mean you talk about speaking in tongues and who comes out of the woodworks but people that don't speak in tongues wanting to correct you they think they know are they going to receive anything from the message about receiving the Holy Ghost speaking in other tongues no, no they've literally cut them off if I say that you should worship the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. as God and I've been doing it say I've been doing it and that there's fruit and results from that that you can't have if you don't do it mm -hmm. and people that say that there's nothing to it or just maybe have done it once they don't have any idea and they've cut themselves off by thinking they know everything they've cut themselves off they've literally become unteachable right if you know everything you're unteachable mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost is the teacher do you know everything mm -hmm. your position are you here your position is one who knows next to nothing compared to him yes. what position does that put you in that puts you in the position of learning everything say learning everything, learning everything. from who the teacher oh I know all about that you know nothing you may know a little glimmer of something but that in the scale of what he knows is next to nothing that's why I wonder sometimes you know when people think they know everything have you even met the Holy Ghost the scale of his wisdom and knowledge and understanding is just it's so expansive that it makes you feel completely insignificant you know next to nothing mm -hmm. I'm telling you you know next to nothing people love this message <laughs> I know everything I know all my script you know if your doctrine that you have framed around doesn't allow for the Holy Ghost and his capacity to be ever expansive 
then you don't know him and the Holy Ghost is the teacher and if you've become unteachable because you think you know everything about whatever topic it is he leaves you alone the Holy Ghost leaves you alone that's why you have whole pockets of Christianity that are left alone in certain things because they think they know James 4 10 humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up or he shall exalt you humble yourself in the sight of the Lord Lord who the Lord Holy Ghost God in the earth today humble yourself and he will lift you up he will give you more understanding well humble yourself one of the strongest words for humbling yourself is to bow down and it's the same place we get the word worship for worship means to bow down worship the Lord humble yourself worship the Lord the Holy Ghost and he shall lift you up are you here so you humble yourself and he will exalt you to know more is there more yes. no there's no more i know it all because i went to cemetery i mean seminary <laughs> well i have knowledge that others don't have is this fun yet yes i have knowledge others don't have including preachers most preachers because i humble myself i worship listen i have knowledge others don't have because i worship the holy ghost as god and what does this scripture say he will do he will exalt you he will lift you up he will give you more are you here yes. i don't know everything but i can worship the holy ghost and he gives me more say I worship the Holy Ghost worship the Holy and he gives me more gives me more. more what more, more everything yeah. I have knowledge that others don't have including preachers because I worship the Holy Ghost and they don't did you know that that a majority of preachers don't worship the Holy Ghost as God where's that gonna leave them it will leave them soundly in their doctrine that does not expand and it narrows them down to in my opinion next to nothing mm -hmm. because when you meet him oh my goodness literally oh my goodness he's ever expansive listen thus says the Spirit Lord I have much to teach you and you don't know it all how can I teach you anything if you know it all well I know it all that immediately disqualifies you from learning more about him well I know everything there is to know about the Holy are you kidding me number one you can't you can't possibly know everything there is to know about the Holy Ghost and if your little religious thinking and doctrine is put him in a box you get nothing there is an ever-expanding knowledge of who he is the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. the Living God the Spirit Lord God in the earth today it's ever expanding say living God, living God. Holy, Ghost, Holy Ghost Spirit Lord. Spirit Lord you know how many people have never even heard of the Holy Ghost that he's the Spirit Lord mm -hmm. why their doctrine has kept him out of there to them he's still the Spirit Lord he's just not the Spirit Lord to them he leaves them alone does it end there knowing him as the Spirit Lord there's a lot more to him than we know about he is God in the earth today think about that I mean, that'll blow your hat off especially yours 
and I have something I'm very tentative and I'm not gonna go there today but I will be going there because I'm required to he revealed something to me uh, on the first of this year when he came into my room spoke briefly on that but I'm still freaked out over it do you suppose him revealing something of himself to you would freak you out it's too much Jesus said I have many things to say to you but you can't handle it now yes you can't handle it well there's more can you give me that yes is there more to the Holy Ghost than our little squeak 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 doctrine yes. ever expanding you walking with him say me walking with him, walking with him. Ever, expanding. ever expanding what has to change you have to change you have to expand mm -hmm. all right there's more we go from glory to glory by the spirit lord by knowing the spirit lord which means the more we know of him and him mm -hmm. the more glory we can walk in say the more i know of him the more glory i can walk in where's the end of that there ain't none ends first corinthians chapter 6 and verse 19 what yeah verse 19 first Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 what know you not so it's pot would he be writing this if it wasn't possible for them to know not they knew not what <laughs> know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost therefore glorify God say God, God in your body who is God in your body Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost what people don't know this that the Holy Ghost is God and that he's in their body do you suppose having your understanding and knowledge of him as God and him as God in you would expand you and expand his ability to do whatever he needed to do in the earth mm -hmm. it's ever expansive therefore glorify God in your body this is knowledge you need to know what know you not do you see this he wrote this in a Bible for people to read it so they would know it mm -hmm. and that has to do with you and him and your position and who he is mm -hmm. say my position, my position and who he is. who he is your position is simply his temple you are his God's temple mm -hmm. you're a temple of God you're a temple of God who the Holy Ghost God the Holy Ghost say I'm a temple, I'm a temple of God the Holy Ghost, God, the Holy Ghost. say I'm a, I'm a temple of God the Holy Ghost. God, the Holy Ghost what if I say that what if I make that part of who I am and what I do I'm a temple of God the Holy Ghost watch out is this true or is it not it is. are we just let's start ripping that one out this one uh, uh, uh. The Holy Ghost is God he's in the earth he's in me and I am his temple mm -hmm. yeah. and if I'm walking right I'm walking with him mm -hmm. is you were talking about your body is your mouth part of your body yes don't answer too quick you got to think <laughs> is your mouth part of your body is your tongue part of your body yes. what know you not that your body is his temple therefore your mouth is part of his temple 
say my mouth, my mouth. is part of his temple say my tongue, my tongue is part of his temple you're a talking temple when you're saying his words out your mouth you are fulfilling your number one job as his temple what's the limit to this you speaking his words there is no limit to it it's ever expansive depending on the words you're saying right if you're speaking prosperity scriptures what's the limit to it no. there's no limit unlimited God supplies all your need mm -hmm. living God gives you richly all things to enjoy what's the limit to all so there's no limit to this and there's no limit to where you can go speaking his words these words as his temple these words you must speak must include words that glorify him glorify God in your body magnify him and worship him what's the temple's job to worship God yes. you're worshiping God what know you not that this is your job mm -hmm. that your body is his temple and you're supposed to glorify what <laughs> you are his temple and without you he does no talking mm -hmm. into this world but especially into your world And that's where most people are because they do no talking yes. without you he does zero talking mm -hmm. especially into your world mm -hmm. second peter chapter 1 verse 20 knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture say of the scripture, of the scripture. we're talking about the scripture for the prophecy the scripture came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost Amen. they spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost and that's where our scriptures came from yes. so who said them holy. holy Ghost his words have his life in it because he's the one that said them yes. his word has his power and his ability in it to bring itself to pass it spoken out your mouth will change you those words that he's already spoken and had written down for you mm -hmm. those words spoken out your mouth will change you what does it change you into the thing said yes. are you here mm -hmm. you will change and when you change you will be something else you will be less ignorant mm -hmm. say less ignorant less ignorant right? Mm -hmm. right i didn't say you wouldn't still be ignorant I said you will be less ignorant you can't pot when you stack up what you know about him and his word and every word you speak begins to reveal things to you about who he is why they're his words and when you speak them they change you mm -hmm. they change you into someone who knows more about him yes. are you ready for this so many times I've I spend a lot of time trying to get you set up so I can push you over the edge <laughs> I say looketh over there and give you a shove <laughs> Isaiah 55 let's look at verse 8 for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways saith the Lord who said this the Holy Ghost was Isaiah a holy man of old and was he moved on by the Holy Ghost yes to say these things yes. 
then he was saying him by the Holy Ghost so these are words of the Holy Ghost are you here that's why I went there first for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways saith the Lord verse 9 for as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts verse 10 for as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven and returns not thither mm -hmm. but waters the earth and makes it say makes it makes it, makes it bring forth and bud makes it mm -hmm. that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater verse 11 so shall my word be whose word Holy Ghost's word, so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. What shall prosper and what shall accomplish? His word that goes forth out of his mouth where do we begin this what know you not that your body mm -hmm. is the temple of the Holy Ghost your mouth is his mouth mm -hmm. your tongue is his tongue so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth mm -hmm. it shall not return to me void who said this Holy Ghost where does he live in you when his word goes forth out of your mouth out of his mouth your mouth it does not return to him void are you getting this yep. my word won't return to me unfulfilled or void who said this Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost where is he in you where are those words gonna go forth out of mouth. your mouth because it's his mouth you're his temple are you here yes. you're saying his words and it won't return to him void mm -hmm. where's it gonna return to you yes. to me when I say his words which is in direct obedience to what he wants me to do as his temple my number one job I speak his words where are those gonna words going to return to you're gonna go up into heaven they don't need to go up into heaven the Holy Ghost is in you they're gonna return to you if you're speaking a prosperity scripture where is it going to return to to you it will prosper are you getting this yep. I think you are does it matter that you know these things yes. yes i'm telling you you say his words you say his word i'm telling you you say his words and it begins to change you you begin to think differently not only about what those words actually mean but about the one who sent them and said them yes. holy ghost who's in you who lives in you you begin to know him as a super prosperity God a super healing God mm -hmm. a super youth renewing God and other people look at you like where are you getting all this from my knowledge of him has increased and expanded to where it will not stop it ends up like one of those you know snowballs going down a hill mm -hmm. it just keeps going and growing and, growing. and watch out I yell to people get out of the way if you don't want this to run you over get out of the way remember we were joking about it the other night I said this fish will eat all of the other fish in the tank you ever see that mm -hmm. where you put you know you get you buy a nice fish tank and you you spend all this money on these exotic fish and then you get this one fish is a little bigger than all the other ones you wake up in the morning what happened there's only one fish left you're like blaming the cat <laughs> calling the pet store well, just how many disappearing fish and all of a sudden your big fish got bigger <laughs> there's only one fish in the earth and his name is the Holy Ghost and he is ever expanding 
remember that one children's book where he kept feeding the fish too much and he got bigger and he outgrew the tank and he had to put him out into the uh the swimming pool auto i'm gonna bring that in one of these days it's a great book this fish eats all the other fish and it'll eat all of you too so does it matter that you know these things yes who he is who you are that's how this works is this fun yet psalms 107 20 he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions Amen. what did he send his word. he sent his word and healed them now it's a word that he sent can you give me that mm -hmm. what did he send a word. a word how did he send this word you have to speak it that's how he sent his word he didn't text it he didn't email it he sent it by saying Amen. say he sent it, he sent by, it. Saying. by saying and then what was the effect of that word that he said that he sent saying say they were healed and delivered mm -hmm. say he sent it saying he sent it saying and then it healed them and delivered them it didn't return void no. will this work for you yes. only if you send it it won't return void mm -hmm. listen if you send his healing word out your mouth it will not return void Amen. to him Amen. Right. Well, his word is perfect you're not he sent his perfect word and healed them and delivered them see the word that he's sent that he already sent and that you send when you're in agreement with him is a perfect word mm -hmm. perfectly heals you perfectly delivers you we don't even know what that is mm -hmm. stop telling me you do that just means you you just shut yourself off from being teachable to be perfectly healed to have your youth perfectly renewed to be perfectly prospered by this perfect living god holy ghost we have small understanding concerning that but it's ever expansive mm -hmm. his word is perfect you're not he sent his perfect word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions mm -hmm. the Lord. if it was left up to us we would have destroyed ourselves most of us have done a pretty good job at it mm -hmm. but he sent his perfect word and it heals us and delivers us from our destructions mm -hmm. his holy ghost spirit lord perfect word sent changes you into something you couldn't even fathom before we don't know what perfect healing is and perfect health and perfect youth renewal perfect pro do we he does you think he does yeah he lives in there he knows he's trying to get that to you but you have to say it so it can return to you well here is where you need to expand listen here is where you need to expand it's his perfect supernatural holy ghost spoken spirit word that heals you and delivers you that's something you've not known or experienced but you're going to knowing him walking with him living with him he's living in you i am a perfect supernatural holy ghost spoken spirit word healed delivered and prospered person mm -hmm. temple of god you starting to see this it's a lot more than just being healed yes we believe in healing good and then the holy ghost said this to me before we came over here he said you want to manifest the new then you must be changed you must be changed 
this doesn't work for me this all of this this doesn't work for me you want to manifest the new listen the Holy Ghost God in the earth you want to manifest him as the new then you must change can you see that we must change yes. how are we changed by his word his word his word his healing his deliverance his prosperity that'll blow the top off your hat his prosperity his youth renewal you're healed in a way you don't even know about you're prospered in a way you don't even know see because i say it, it it like nails on a chalkboard to me because i say these things and most preachers oh yes i know what you're talking about you have no idea what i'm talking about his healing the way he lives the kind of health he lives the kind of youth renewal he lives i'm telling you you will change your thinking will change your believing will change your entire life will be changed Amen. as you worship the living god the holy ghost the spirit lord and speak in agreement with his words those words will go out and then they'll change you they'll come back and they'll begin to rearrange you let his spoken word change you change your thinking change your believing change who you are stop pretending you know everything the more i know the more i don't know and the more i lean on him because he is the teacher and he knows everything and i worship him because he is god each verse spoken changes you into seeing the real him he's the one who said it in the first place we go from glory to glory let's just go read that second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is or where the Spirit Lord is say where the Spirit Lord is where the Spirit Lord is, is the Spirit Lord in you where the spirit lord is there is liberty a kind of liberty that you can't have if you don't know him as the spirit lord but we all with open face beholding as in a mirror the glory of the spirit lord are changed into the same image are you here yes. well we're seeing him differently we're seeing him in a different light mm -hmm. he's expanding to us mm -hmm. We're changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the spirit lord we're changed by knowing the spirit lord in a greater degree of glory glory to glory we go by knowing him the spirit lord speaking in agreement with his word and letting his word change us from one glory to the next glory and it's ever expansive and it does never stop we worship you holy ghost we thank you that you are the spirit lord and we have the distinct honor and privilege of walking with you of being your temple and speaking in agreement with your word and having it completely and utterly change us in every single way that we may see you and be changed into your image from glory to glory we give you all the glory and the praise in the name of jesus amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost yes. i worship you you are god in the earth today your word says that if i sow I shall also reap if I give it will be given unto me good measure pressed down shaken together and running over it would be given back to me I thank you Holy Ghost that this word does not return to me void. I'm blessed I'm rich I'm healed and my youth is renewed I give you all the glory 
in Jesus name, Jesus name. Amen. amen.